brutally murdered. All hell broke loose because 100 Marines saw, saw blood. blood. <laughs> and they went running into this motherfucker. NCOs were trying to keep the formation, just get some. And they're like, fuck it, let's just go do this. Just break your fucking elbows. Ripping eyeballs out. Fucking brutally, deadly force. What am I fucking trying to say? <laughs> Committing serious bodily harm. On the fucking everybody. Little Milvins running everywhere. Going <laughs> <laughs> down! Going fucking down! Oh, God. Why send the Marines in when you want fucking peace? Fuck you all. God oh, damn it! CNN reporters on top of the whole fucking thing. Filming it. Filming it from start to end. She watched the Navy get raped. She watched the fucking... Guys, too, because they liked it, didn't they, guys? <laughs> she watched the fucking, she watched the dependents get fucked up and raped. She watched the fucking looting. She watched the fucking Navy just get destroyed. And at the end of it, she called the great assassins. They were out number 20,000, huh? This is not, not the fucking shit. What is wrong with you all? <laughs> I think, I think it's John Glenn time. Yeah. Oh, I think it's John, John Glenn, Glenn time. John Glenn. John oh, it's Glenn. definitely John Glenn time. We got time. We got time. It's John Glenn time. Did you find the gear? Later, ran for Senate. Okay, at this point, ran for Senate, was a senator for 20 years. Recently, the oldest man to go back up in this debate. 1974 Ohio State Democratic debate, Howard Metzabub, a politician, asked John Glenn, how could you run for Senate when you never held a job? What the fuck would y'all say if somebody said that shit to you? Now, at this point, he had been a Marine. Clear. Go! <laughs> Are we clear? Yeah. John Glenn, respond. Is that right? I served 23 years in the United States Marine Corps. I fought through two wars. I flew 149 missions. My plane was hit by anti-aircraft fire on 12 different occasions. I was in the space program. It wasn't my job, it was my life that was on the line. And this wasn't a nine to five job where I could take time off to take the daily casualty for the fire. I asked you to come with me as I went the other day to a veteran's hospital. And you stand there. You look at those men with their mangled bodies. You look them in the eye and tell them that they never held a job. You come with me and visit any gold star mother. You look her in the eye and tell her her son never held a job. Fuck! <laughs> You come with me to the space program and visit the widows and the orphans of Ed White, Gus Grisham, and Roger Chafee. You look those kids in the eye and tell them that their dads never held a job. You come with me on this Memorial Day weekend coming up to Arlington National Cemetery, where I got more friends than I'd like to remember. And you stand there. You watch those waving flags. You think about this nation and you tell me that those people never held a job. Ugh. I'll tell you, Howard Metzenbaum, you should be on your knees every day of your life thanking God that there are uh, some men, some men who have held a job, and they required a dedication of purpose, of love of country, and a dedication to duty that was more important than life itself. Their self-sacrifice is what made this country possible. Mm. 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 Yeah. <laughs> Marines, we need to carry on. We need to get on the fucking plane. Load up!